Did you know that every Israeli, including myself, has this gas mask at home in case of a chemical attack in Israel? Yes? This is just another day in Israel. I'm in northern Israel. It's a bit rainy and cold, but we're just a few kilometers from the border with Lebanon. And what happens here concerns a lot of Israelis. There are rocket sirens here on a daily basis. Rockets are fired into this part of the country almost every day. But also on the other side of the border, things are also happening. Mysterious eliminations of top Hamas terrorists take place in Lebanon. Iranian regime officials disappear in Syria. And the Israeli Air Force continues to target Iranian proxies with recent strikes 100 kilometers deep in Lebanon. A clear message that no matter where these terrorists hide, they will be found and dealt with. Now, although everything around us is so beautiful and it could easily be heaven on earth, it's quite a deceptive paradise, if I should say, where every breathtaking view is shadowed by the specter of conflict, making peace a precious yet fragile dream. So let me tell you what's going on here right now. Hezbollah, a terror organization within Lebanon, has its fingers wrapped tightly around the nation's throat. But here's the twist. While they portray themselves as the defenders of the Lebanese people, their actions tell a completely different story. Their arsenal, funded and supplied by Iran, isn't just pointed at Israel. It's a shadow over Lebanon's own future, a heavy chain that's holding the country back from true peace and prosperity. Lebanon used to be called the Switzerland of the Middle East. And now, it's just a few kilometers that way. It's a terror hub of Iran. Hezbollah has an insane arsenal of 150,000 missiles. And guess what? They have barely used 5% of it since October 7. What does it mean for us? Well, it means that almost any spot in Israel is a potential target that could be targeted at any time. Every rocket fired, every alert that sounds off, isn't just news, it's a personal story of families rushing to shelters, of kids whose childhoods are interrupted by sirens instead of laughter. And all Israelis know that war in the north is going to look much different than the war with Hamas. It's going to be a lot more difficult and I'm not just talking about this topography here that is a lot different than the one in Gaza. A rain of rockets in Israel can cause power outages nationwide. We're talking about at least 60% of Israel being in the dark. And without electricity, there is no water, no power, no TV, complete darkness. Many Israelis are preparing for this doomsday war and are buying generators, installing solar panels on their rooftops and stocking enough food and water for weeks. Israel's mine authority has also been clearing many landmines in the north with massive explosions. And you've got to ask yourselves, why are they doing this, especially in this crucial, sensitive, intense time? Is this to simply make more room for cows in the north? Or potentially, possibly, to make more room for heavy armored vehicles like tanks to create more paths in case of a war here in the north. Israel is on high alert. Over 60,000 Israelis who call the north their home are displaced. The Israeli army is fighting in Gaza and at the same time holding extensive military training for the wars to happen on its northern border. Both Israelis and the people in Lebanon don't want this war. We are just regular people who want to live our lives, doesn't matter which side of the border you live in, enjoy our families and hope for a peaceful, better tomorrow. As an Israeli, I don't hate the people in Lebanon. I love them. I wish all the best for them, just like I wish all the best for my nation here in the Jewish homeland called Israel. The only ones that do want the war is the Islamic regime in Iran that seeks to see destruction in Israel, even at the cost of destruction of Lebanon or Syria. But even if things are going well or unwell, it doesn't matter because the spirit of the Jewish people is unbreakable. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. That has been our story for a long time. History shows that messing with the people of Israel doesn't go well. Our strength lies in our deep connection to this land, in our unity, in the Jewish spirit, and most of all, in our trust in God. So to anyone thinking of causing more trouble, remember, you're up against more than just us. In the face of constant threats, Israel stands firm, 
not just on the battlefield, but in our commitment to human rights. We are not like them. They don't care about innocent lives, we do. They hide behind civilians, we go before civilians. They celebrate terror and death, we celebrate life and peace. Israel is fighting evil and victory is near. Israel's victory is going to be your victory as well.